Jellico cats, Jellico cats, Jellico cats. Hello, friends, family, people of Earth. Hello, my name is Alicia, and today I'm going to be discussing the books that I've currently brought back with me. I have a cup of tea. Let's get into this. Time disclaimer: I have cut my hand, and it's very gross. Don't look at it. <laughs> I have recently travelled. I've gone from living with my mum to go back to my university house strictly for health reasons during this pandemic that I won't get into because that's not something I want this video to be about but I do want it to be about the books that I've taken from there to here so I'm gonna go into those now. The first one is Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria? Nope, Delaria. Ava Delaria is what I'm gonna go with. This one I've bought ages and ages ago. It's been on my TBR for ages. It's about a girl called Laurel who's writing letters for an assignment and then starts writing them to famous dead people like Heath Ledger and Amy Winehouse. And it's in the format of her letters. Like you can see her letters, which is kind of similar to where Rainbows End by Cecilia Ahern, which I've recently talked about. So I'm very excited to read this one as I feel like it will be kind of a similar story, not a similar storyline, but a similar narrative style. The next one is Alex and Eliza by Melissa de la Cruz and I've wanted to read this one for ages purely because it's about the story of Hamilton the musical and I love Hamilton the musical because who doesn't and apparently it's very historically accurate. We love historically accurate books. The next one is Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley, I think, that's it. I was given this when I was the young adult book club leader at a Waterstones where I live back home. Um, and this was one that one of the booksellers recommended to me and he said it was really good. He got through it quite quickly. So uh, I'm not really too sure uh, what it's about. And I think this is an art copy. But apparently it has a surprising and harrowing climax. I'm excited to read it. Okay, we're gonna go for two hyped ones that everyone knows about and I haven't read yet and I feel like a bad booktuber for not having read them. So we've got Throw the Glass by Sarah J Mass and The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Very excited for Throw the Glass. I've read Court of um, Thorns and Roses uh, and I really loved it so I'm excited to see what she does in this universe and The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey is about aliens and stuff. And I love aliens. I love aliens. I can't wait. The next one is my current read, so of course I had to take it back. It's Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Um, I'm rereading this because I got halfway through and then stopped. Can't remember why. I think I ran out of time in my daily life. But now we've got nothing but time. So I'm currently... Where am I? I'm currently this far in, which isn't too far. I'm getting through it. I'm getting through it. And the last one is a new purchase. It is... Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare, which is the newest that she's put out. It is book one in the Last Hours series, so I'm very excited for a new set of narratives by my gal Cassandra Clare. Those are the ones that I wanted to bring back to read whilst I've got so much time on my hands. If you've read any of these, please do let me know what they're like. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, do that down below. Also, give this video a like if you like content like this and is there anything else that typical YouTubers say? I don't think there is. I guess I'll leave it at that and I'll see you all next Sunday. Bye!